Greetings, fellow traveler. Before we jump into the video, I just want to point out that this is one of my more heavily edited videos uh, with even a script, like it's a Martin Scorsese movie. And all I kind of want to have said is, if you actually enjoy this uh, and you want to see more of this, comment comment like or even subscribe or something to sort of give some emphasis of like hey i want more of this um because that will motivate me to to give you more of it um but yeah i hope you enjoy it and uh, yeah for the past 18 years i've played this indie game called you might even have heard of it world of warcraft And in those 18 years, I've witnessed the most epic expansions. And now you dare enter my realm. You are not prepared. And let's not forget. My son, the day you were born, the very forests of Lordaeron whispered the name. Arthas. Okay, hold on, hold on. can we can we can we just get a little little bit more of that? You know, just just a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, but for those who know. They know, but for the first time, we were promised something different, and apparently, it's what is it now again, Chris? The World Soul Saga is so epic as we covered. Ah, well, we'll see about that. I've sectioned this video up, so if your attention span is shorter than your penis, well, feel free to jump around the video. And for all you women out there. You can just use your imagination. But without further ado, let's get into it. The first part, the villain. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, hey, we did promise us epic, right? Ah, well, okay, for real, let, let's, let's actually get into it. Alright, Sartath, who is the villain of this expansion at least, is really great. What I love about the villain is that she's very manipulative. Brendan's been dead for years. It isn't the typical brute force, even though it's proven to work in the past. Speaking about villains, Garrosh was one of those that were like, you love to hate him. They are no longer part of my horde. That, 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 I, no words. That was great. However, back to South. She's not just my games. She's quite powerful. We all know that Khadgar is a powerful mage, but hey, even he got his ass handed to She also seems to have a very close to connection to Valeria. Almost like Voldemort to Harry Potter. <laughs> I also like they show at least said that Salatath ain't all that overpowered, but she can also get her ass handed to her. I also love the story that was told leading up to the raid that we were up against. 
to have a backstory that she tries to manipulate the mother into converting to her cult. But when that doesn't work, she is just so reckless that she manipulates the daughter instead and have her kill the mother. Your time will come, child, but only when you are ready. And with Sarva being the manipulative witch that she is, and having the daughter drunk on power so that she kills her mother, you get this kind of great lead up to the raid. Here's these two assholes you're up against. Man! Fucking bring it on! Once you finish the raid, you get another layer of asshole that is Salatan. Slender is the strand that guides your destiny. So easily overlooked. Yet cutting deeper than the shore. What looked like a partnership. A great duo now reveals itself that she's just manipulating and using whoever she can in order to sort of, I guess, stop us. And once Answer barely holds on to her own life, Salvat is just tossing her away like a broken toy. Only the strongest survive. Alright, next up, end game content. Let's talk about the raid in itself. I will mention my favorite boss encounters with specific abilities, starting off with Orgrax. Sure, the encounter has this whole avoid this and that, but I really do like the fact that he has this charge period, but after that, you literally need to feed him till 100%, otherwise, you wipe. Then we have Nexus Princess. She spawns these portals that will magnetically pull you in different directions, so positioning is key. This one is one of my more favorite abilities and a boss fight. Once a new barrage gets 100 energy, he will charge the room. And your goal is to get a debuff, stand on opposite sides of the charging path to prevent him crashing through the wall. And if he does, he does immense damage. And even on higher difficulties, this is literally a wipe. Then we have answer. I mean, come on. Detonating a poison funnel to charge you up in the air to avoid a mechanic. Dude, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Then in phase 2, you need to kill these ads that will catapult you towards an elevated platform. And you need to do this a few times and then launch yourself onto phase 3 and clap the boss. That's just not cool, but it's it's the mechanics are actually fun. Alright boys and girls, let's talk delves. I thought I would hate them. I really didn't. I had flashbacks to Torgas, another special event in MOP. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Hey guys, uh, in, today we're gonna talk about scenarios in Mist of Canaria. Yeah, that's right. I did YouTube before I had facial hair. Guess the comments though, how long ago that was. But I was surprised. I kind of fell in love with it right from the start. And if I didn't have a hard on about Delves at the start, I definitely had it at higher tiers. Playing on tier 9 or even 10 feels like a real challenge. I mean, there are some rage moments for sure. Oh my god, dude, wow, wow, okay, everything's a one-shot, holy sh- No! Fuck me! Are you kidding me, man? Oh. But when you succeed, dude, it feels like you have a purpose in life again. Okay. Oh my god, that was tense. I love it, but god damn! Oh my god. Ah, hell! Holy motherfuck! Dude, I was so focused! Holy fuck! Oh my god. So, dungeon swarm. Well, mythic plus to be exact. Playing on low keys feels like Raid Finder. You're like, oh, abilities. I wonder if they do anything. 
Oh my god, on the tank. Ooh. Oh, fuck on me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so fucking retarded. I thought I was gonna get thrown off. And then I leaped into the mob that killed me. Oh my god. But then in higher keys, you're almost shocked that something just one-shot you. Holy shit. I also love the fact that you go into the same dungeon, but learn you actually have to use your brain. And let's not forget about using your own keys and having lovely team members. Good luck. Have fun. This party fucking cunt. Can I report? Like it matters, but yeah, tank was kind of retarded, but yeah, that's why you don't do your own keys, huh? I also love that after each key, you check your dungeon journal and get this yellow swirly thing, and you know there's some juicy loot waiting to be grabbed by Wednesday. There's, however, one thing I love more. Winning biss items I had no idea that I needed, and seeing my party members turn into a pack of hyenas. Need caps lock? Oh my god. Fuck me, I guess. Need it? Oh my god, everyone's like, oh my god. <laughs> Congrats. I think I need it. Arakara Scarabrood? Yeah. Fucking... They literally think I want it, and then they just automatically fucking rolls for it? Bruh. Nuh uh Yeah, that's Biss. Fuck, I didn't know that. Great. Woo! -hoo! So, leveling. The zones, they all have their flair. They all are quite different to each other. And dude, Hallowfall with the huge light bulb changing color. Cool shit. While leveling, there's many ways to get to 80. I did a bit of everything. I did some delves. And now we're entering a dead. The ma top, top, top one, top one. Easy. Mm. Epics. <laughs> All right, I, 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 I kind of like it. Okay, okay, okay. Discovered my own class talents. What the fuck is this? I also played with bots. Follower dungeons. The rookery. I'm a damaged. I'll, I'll be lead, guys. Don't worry. All right, guys. Uh, Mage table, thank you. All right. We got some uh, health stones. Health stones? No. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. I get it, it's, you know, you're, you're new to the dungeon and everything, but after doing it once, spending about 45 minutes in a dungeon, and then queuing with actual people, just made me realize I never want to do it with the whole AI thing again. Towards destruction. There it is! Oh, level 80. Holy motherfucking fuck fuck. In summary. So, what do I think? My experience in World of Warcraft in general stems from 2006, playing all expansions, a little bit here and there, and then becoming a huge classic Andy for the next four years. But I stand, understand that for some of you, your favorite flavor is vanilla. Being a guild master, raid leading a highly like big community guild that I freaking loved. Okay. Good luck. Go. Oh. Wow, dude! <laughs> Holy shit, man! <laughs> the fuck? I gotta say, and I really mean this, this is the best expansion I've ever played. And yeah, I know, Burning Crusader and Wrath of Lich King is great, and it has its own place. But things evolve, and I actually feel it evolved for something so much better. I also feel like we're on this legit journey of the World Soul Saga. And they really have to deliver. And well, I mean, hey, they're off to a great start. I'm not that person anymore! Now you might go, what the fuck? No bad shit? Drama where? Well... This video took about a week to make. So in that process, this popped up. All right, we're talking about this mount here. 
uh, which has caused a lot of fucking drama, which is rightfully so, I believe. And I mean, yeah, that that fucking sucked asshole. But I talk more about that in another video on my channel. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. And last but not least, I don't usually do these time-consuming, heavily edited videos with script and stuff. So if you actually enjoy this, I would really appreciate it if you liked it. Share around with some friends. Go be like, hey, look at this guy. He talked about wow. And then, boom, you, you become better friends because he, like, liked this video and now you're your best friends. And now you go to his wedding and go like, man, I really thank you for sharing that video back in the day. You know? Uh, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> nah, but honestly, it would it would motivate me to do more of these videos. Definitely if it, if, if it, if it's something that you guys want to watch, see, you know what I mean? Anywho, I would love to know your thoughts about War Within. I've heard a little bit of negativity here and there about Mythic being scuffed and not fixed and they need to fix it and yada yada. But I, I, I haven't really felt any of that, honestly. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below. And I mean, that's been everything for me. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, have a great day. No, it's Sound effects. Yeah. yeah. Okay, bye. But that sword was aimed at someone. Okay.